Hello everyone, today we're going to play Rome Total War SPQR mod. It is my favorite mod and uh, it has a lot of great stuff which makes the game very exciting to play even after so many years. In this video we will play the first turn and two major battles with it. Let's go ahead and check all of our settings before we start. So video and advanced options. Uh, unit scale must be huge. It will give the most accurate size of the unit in armies. Besides that, terrain detail medium, unit detail low. It will still be okay, no, no difference to my eye. And everything else I like to set low, such as buildings and effects. Grass detail, I like to have grass and trees in okay condition. So we will we'll put it high and medium still consider that is an old game mute music and speech after all these years playing the game i really get tired of battle music especially so campaign music still be okay it's very nice okay single player imperial campaign we all set now no advice obviously and this particular mode is designed to be played and medium medium difficulty for battle and campaign surely we want to manage all settlements and we like to follow the characters I like battles with time limit I mean in real life you cannot fight forever and at the end of the day it must be some conclusion to it we will have to activate mod script every time we load the game Horizon script and 4 season year what it means that in this mod there will be 4 turn year and I will talk later about the Ryzen script. Press show me how and it's all activated now. We begin our first turn here in Italy. Capo is set to be our capital since Rome is Senate. Welcome to the Republic. This river is the border with Cisalpine Gaul, which will have to defend vigorously. Gaul's army will try to invade Italy. And this is our sole city in Sicily with a very weak army of town cohorts. I believe the most useful strategy is to evacuate them for now. It's tactical retreat. We'll be back and conquer Sicily later. Otherwise those guys will be just killed by Greeks from, from the neighboring city of Syracuse. destroying army barracks so our, our enemies won't be able to recruit soldiers there as well all of our resources must be consolidated to defend northern frontier we will tax our cities heavily so there may be some degree of unrest but it will increase our treasury and we can fight the war population growing again we need the money to pay our army this means we should build mines first to, to increase our income and this is true everywhere no exceptions tax rate set to be very high in all of our cities and here we will be able to build mines as well and we will have to defend this city because it will be the key city here as well as this one in this mode at the beginning of the game every nation is in peace with other nation except Rome so Gauls doesn't have the pressure from Germanic tribes and will allocate their armies to the south huge armies will try to come in to Italy through this pass over here and cross the river on the other side Giving zero turn instant unit recruitment time, this is one of the many aspects of this mod which makes it most favorite mod of all time for me. Of course later in the game other nations will fight with each other, however generally historical borders will remain the same over time. How amazing is that? Anyways, we are going to, to start marching our armies to the border with Cisalpine Gaul, ship will be helpful here. I remember playing Vanilla Rome when Egypt expanded all over Asia and Africa so they took other fractions 
and it was not what I wanted to see in the game. Well, our strategy here is to place at least small expeditionary force to those river crossings in attempt to prevent uh, enemy armies from crossing, in, crossing the river into our territory. So this will go here and the large army will try to settle there, leaving just a few tank hordes in this city. All other units from from uh, from the cities will have to come up north. This is very important uh, at the beginning of the game. Do not lose any city in Italy. And uh, after setting the stage for our campaign on the north, we can shift our attention to the south. In this part, the great general of Second Punic War, Hannibal, with his army, has to be defeated right away. We will deploy Quintus Julius, it says he is military genius and confident attacker. So he will have to take care of Hannibal, this actually is the main military goal of the first two turns. Another thing which I like to do in this mod, according to house rules, is to raise legions uh, according to historical setup. With the uh, Velites, Hastati, Principes, Triari and Auxiliary Equites Cavalry. With this army we are going to search for Hannibal, this one we must achieve decisive victory and save the Republic. There he is. Ok, it's our win or die situation here now. As we can see our army is outnumbered but we believe in superior Roman soldiers and perhaps we consulted an oracle before the battle and they predicted successful outcome. Ok, looking at their army, very balanced, they have horsemen, elephants, some Greek, Greek style infantry and basically archers, a lot of good soldiers, can be dangerous to us but we have no choice but accept the battle and just go and win it. It could be nice to have more soldiers to match their army size, but we cannot afford it because we had to start marching them towards northern borders. This time we will have roughly 4000 soldiers on the field in our army. It's very nice to have some, some kind of historical accuracy in the game. Mm, this, this size will actually equal the number of soldiers in real Roman legion, more or less. Here you can see what I mean uh, about union detail, we set it as low, but still uh, it's, it's, it's fine. And the same goes for grass and trees details here, and uh, terrain in general. We are on a plain field and we will position our army here a little bit uh, on the uh, high grounds, which will give us an advantage, obviously. Our first line will be in Hastati. I know that historically it's not accurate, the first line actually where it is, but for the purpose of this battle we will set them as a Hastati to be the first line and they will throw a pilum at will with a defensive mod which I just click with a shield. Our second line will be Principes, this is uh, accurate with the historical times, they will be just right behind the Hastati lines. I like to position them right behind the Astati lines. They will also throw the pilum and be in defensive mode. Triari will be on our wings and beha behind uh, everybody else to protect from cavalry attacks. It's the most useful purpose of them because they have spears, which is very effective against horses. Well, it is the most uh, effective troops against elephants. This is also considered to be historically accurate. And uh, our general, 
he will be just right on the middle, observing the battle, giving orders and command. So, what do we have left? Triari, one more unit of them. We will pr protect the general bodyguards in case there will be greater danger for him and also used as a purpose of the reserve to be deployed in most critical moment of the battle same goes for our horseman units we'll position them on the left wing and on the right wing of our army so to, to protect our relatives and others from being outflanked and attacked from behind so there is the army of Carthage we are assuming defensive position here and Hannibal is choosing um, the strategy to attack us obviously because he feels confident in his ability and in his army and he, they have elephants so we will just stay there and wait for them to make the first move to attack and we will go from there we don't want relatives to, to waste their their pilums we want them to throw just directly right at elephants and we set everybody in a defensive mode so uh, in Vietnam we just have to wait and see what will happen our two major goals uh, of the day right now is to save as many as we can of our soldiers because we will have to fight again and just defeating one army we'll have to face the second army right away that's why we have to save lives of our soldiers and they will have to go and defeat another army of Carthage this being said our second main goal is to kill Hannibal himself and destroy his army achieving complete and decisive victory so uh, so they wa they won't fight again now uh, i'm going to move this uh, extra unit of triari to our left wing because it looks like Carthaginian elephants and uh, other horsemen they are all moving towards towards this part of the plane and we will have to protect uh, our relatives and general bodyguard and relatives will have to be closer because they have to be able to actually reach reach the elephants and be able to throw the pillum at them and don't let elephants to go in our ranks and actually destroy our principes or hastati everything is developing very quickly we're trying to move our horsemen a little bit back and uh, the elephants and cavalry all right one of the house rule which i try to to play is not to pause the battle and go as it is in a real time it seems to be like elephants and uh, enemy horsemen they are charging there or preparing to charge at least well well we, we, we have to hold hold our lines here and don't don't let elephants to do any huge damage to to our army so the horseman unit attacks uh, us on the left already and from behind they're trying to to reach our we have perfect chance to to attack uh, Hannibal himself with a missile attack here and hopefully kill him and meanwhile cavalry here they're trying to attack us from behind and uh, this damage damage our missile units relatives so we will deploy our cavalry units and triari to eliminate this possibility meanwhile elephants are dying there because uh, relatives are throwing the pill at them The horses should die fairly quickly because they don't have a chance against spears. Uh, it looks like on the right we were safe with some infantry trying to outflank us, but not a big deal. 
now we're going to reinforce our first line of hostility with our pinky pace I, it looks like most of the elephants already already got killed and yes our right wing is in danger here right now we urgently need this enemy horseman to to be defeated right away okay bring we will have to bring back Vilitis and launch a missile attack on here on maybe maybe on our right wing and obviously try to kill Hannibal himself so elephants are still still alive, few of them, very few of them however they still will do a lot of damage yep Yeah, this is very dangerous. This, this where they can break the moon, our our line, and defeat our army. Even even a few few of them. No, it won't happen anyway. They they all dead. Oh yeah. Okay, elephants eliminated. But still, we heavily outnumbered. We need something decisive, some kind of blow, and this blow. Uh, will hopefully come very soon with the killing of of the general. We we need to to kill Hannibal himself. This this is decisive mo moment of this battle, and here we are. He is dead. The gun Hannibal is dead. Now now we should attack. Now we see right at this moment our left flank is achieving the victory over their horsemen. So we can redeploy our horsemen towards towards their right and their routine yeah they 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 are defeated on our uh, on our left flank is winning and they defeated there however it's still far far from from decisive victory because there's a lot a lot of foot soldiers are still there and their missile units are just constantly throwing and uh, sh shooting arrows at us and we have to remember our very first goal of the day to save as many lives as we can so so we can fight another battle with the same army without without the need for reinforcement Ho hopefully our horseman unit will uh, will achieve victory on the right as well Yes, the little bit difficult for for the horsemen to fight foot soldiers there because they have to suffer losses because uh, obviously charge is powerful but after that they're lo lo losing the momentum of, of attack. Here on our left it looks like we, we have a disadvantage and uh, they might actually achieve some momentum over there. So what we have to do is we have to make sure mm, we, we will win our right right wing as soon as we can and yes basically our horsemen were able to to attack attack from the side and this is where we can actually redeploy some of our soldiers on the right to kind of close close this gap and uh, attack the main part of remaining of the enemy army from both sides from the right and from the front with some missile support they will throw stones obviously and pilums
I have to charge. And uh, try to destroy, uh, try to kill as many as as many enemy soldiers as we can, so they won't fight again, and we will achieve a decisive victory, and this army will be destroyed completely. Basically, most of the soldiers in retreat right now. We probably have one or two units which still uh, still can fight, but uh, they they don't want to fight. They actually retreating as well. That's why we don't see we don't see uh, the sign that that the uh, battle is over. Probably one of those units are still still able to fight, by but in a retreat. But that's okay. There is no danger to our our army anymore. Hannibal uh, is dead, and we have to now kill as many soldiers as we can. Meanwhile, uh, I want to say this is my very first gaming video ever and I don't have any fancy equipment or any experience in recording on the microphone but uh, I hope it will turn out to be just fine I mean the sound and the video uh, I love this game in this particular mod I wanted to share this alright moving on looks like everybody is retreating and we just follow them and try to try to kill those running people well this is horrible thing to do but we have to achieve our goals here So this is the last fighting unit which we have to defeat and I believe this will be the victory, decisive victory and mm, this army will be completely destroyed. So I recommend this mod for a lot of reasons and one of the reasons is unit size and battle scale. Every time you have a chance to fight a historically accurate size uh, of the legion and with, with zero turn unit recruitment it gives you an opportunity to, to command a few full legions on a campaign and I think this, this is uh, historical accuracy and simulation of, of this time period is one of the reasons why I still play this game uh, over so, uh, so many years for so many years I still love it and I come back to it once in a while when I'm in a mood and it gives me this feeling uh, of uh, of the past uh, of my favorite uh, historical time period So this is it, victory. We press continue battle just to to make sure we we can uh, eliminate all the other units which are still on the field. Since I say that our goal is to to completely destroy this army. Uh, we we suffer some losses, but we have enough people left enough soldiers left to fight another second battle without uh, need for reinforcement however uh, it will be more difficult second battle will be slightly more difficult to to achieve the victory 
so this is it heroic victory and we can see that uh, we lost for about 300 men and Hannibal is dead and mm, they kill only 357 men and we have almost 3000 left for for our next time we can see that uh, only 160 men left in their army basically this is decisive victory now we can see second army is just waiting few few miles ahead of us however uh, however we don't have any more any more space to go forward so we'll have to wait for them to attack us well this will be it for for our first turn we all set and ready we have enough enough soldiers for to face and try to win our second battle we will combine them into complete units now well this will be it for this video this is the end of the first turn and the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope i didn't talk too much i will record at least one more video to make it more complete after that we'll see how it goes thank you again and play around total war spqr mod it's an amazing game